how long will John Budmeyer continue to help Iowa football? And has he really been working for free? More on that in a moment. First, a reminder to please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button as well. That thumbs up helps us in the algorithm. And want to thank our sponsor for this show, for this video, Ascent Nutrition. Did you know that most name brand coffees contain harmful molds and mycotoxins? Well, the Scent Nutrition, your whole bean or freshly ground organic coffee is guaranteed to make you a healthier person. Click the link in the description below for more details to order your organic and pesticide-free coffee with Ascent Nutrition. So uh, the topic on the docket for today is John Budmeyer and how long will John Budmeyer continue to help Iowa football? Uh, John was a topic for discussion amongst Iowa fans and amongst the Iowa media early on in the spring um, because, and, and really for, for valid reason, he, a former offensive coordinator um, at the FBS level, he was actually the offensive coordinator at Colorado State just last year. Now it was his first year with the program. Steve Adazio gets fired. John Budmeyer let go. But John has a history of coaching quarterbacks, and that's what intrigues Iowa fans to the situation. He coached quarterbacks uh, with Paul Christ at Wisconsin. He actually was at Pittsburgh with Paul Christ previously. He was also a quarterback at Wisconsin uh, previously. Iowa recruited him out of high school. But news that John Budmeyer was coming to Iowa as a volunteer uh, was sort of odd. People kind of interpreted this in a, in a few different ways, and we had speculated on this channel that perhaps, perhaps uh, he was just in between jobs, was looking for more work and could afford to just volunteer. Now, it still didn't make a whole lot of sense why he would work for nothing. I'm going to share some information from the Colorado State Athletic Department, and this is from their communications office. So according to a spokesman from the Colorado State Athletic Department, John Budmeyer is still getting paid by Colorado State. So here's the information. John was making 325000 This is public information, by the way, 325000 a year. He was signed on in February of 21. As you see here, his appointment was through June 30th. So if you do the math, that's a 17-month contract. And basically, Colorado State is required to pay him until the end of June, unless he starts making money somewhere else. So in other words, as you can see here, the exact wording of this email from this Colorado State spokesman, Colorado State would pay the difference between the $325,000 and any salary in Iowa until June 30th. So there's our explanation as to why John Budmeyer has been able to work here for free. He's not really working for free. He's still making $325,000 a year until the end of this month. It would make sense then that Iowa wouldn't be paying him. It would make sense that they wouldn't want to pay him. And why would John Budmeyer care? He's getting paid three hundred twenty-five thousand from somebody. I was not going to be paying him over three hundred twenty-five thousand dollars to be an analyst, a quote-unquote analyst. So it makes sense that he's able to technically be a volunteer. Now I want to take a look at the volunteer information for anybody who's not familiar with what a volunteer does in this setting. So this is actually an excerpt from the University of Iowa volunteer authorization that was acquired through a public information request. You see his responsibilities, and this began at the beginning of March, so in prep for spring and, of course, throughout spring. His responsibilities include self-scout, opponent scout, approaching game rosters, injury status, depth chart projections, and other analytics as needed by the head coach and assistant coaches. So basically like an analyst. Now, no mention here of direct work with the quarterbacks, and here's why. I want to share this with you. This is from a spokesman with the compliance office, basically confirming what we already assumed, that an analyst cannot actually be a coach. He's, they're not coaches, right? They're analysts in this setting. So there are rules, NCAA regulations, that prohibit them from working directly with student athletes. Now, here's the exact language from this University of Iowa compliance officer. He said, and I quote, there is not an NCAA job description for analysts. However, the individual, regardless of compensation, cannot participate in any coaching responsibilities which the NCAA defines as an institutional staff member or any other individual outside the institution, like a consultant or professional instructor with whom the institution has made arrangements must count against coaching limits in the applicable sport as soon as the individual participates in any manner in any of the following. A, 
provides technical or tactical instruction related to the sport to a student athlete at any time. B, makes or assists in making tactical decisions related to the sport during on-court or on-field practice or competition. Or C, engages in any off-campus recruiting activity. So in layman's terms, I know there's a lot of language there to sort through. John Budmeyer being an analyst at Iowa. He's not a coach. He's an analyst at Iowa. He cannot provide tactical or technical instruction to any student athlete at any time. Okay, This includes off campus. This includes in the film room on the field. He also cannot make or assist in making tactical decisions during on court or on field performances. So specifically with football during game day, during competition or during practice. And he cannot engage in recruiting. So this is what Iowa has been up against. Now, certainly there's no reason to think that John Budmeyer would not be able to help Brian Ferentz get up to speed with the quarterback position. Do I think it's enough? Probably not. Quite frankly, I don't know that John Budmeyer can teach Brian everything he needs to know um, in a matter of a few months. But there's no reason to think that John Budmeyer has not helped the cause. But going back to that date, June 30th, that's the end of Budmeyer's contract with Colorado State. So after June 30th, he will not be getting paid by Colorado State. So that begs the question, will he continue to stay here at Iowa? Will Iowa shift him to a paid role? I don't know why he would continue to work for free unless he literally has no other options. And I don't really understand how the coordinator from Colorado State, who, by the way, didn't coach. I mean, the numbers would say that Colorado State's offense was actually decent last year. I have no idea why he would continue to be at Iowa as a volunteer. Again, he's getting paid by Colorado State through the end of June. And I'll make 100% clear, as a volunteer, he is not getting paid. Here is an excerpt from the volunteer information from that uh, volunteer authorization slash application. You are a volunteer if you provide services to or on behalf of the university and have no legal duty to do so, have no personal interest or gain from the activity, and receive no compensation or consideration except expense reimbursement for the services you provide. So I guess theoretically... Iowa could be providing him with expense reimbursement, I guess, for gas, traveling to the football facility and whatnot. But again, he's not able to in his current position. He's not able to actually go hands-on and provide tactical instruction with the players. Uh, he's not able to help in making calls, basically, on game day or in practice, for that matter. And he's not able to recruit. No reason to think he's not able to go uh, take Brian aside and talk to Brian about uh, certain things as it relates to quarterbacks in relation to play calling if that's necessary or if that's wanted. Um, but again, after June 30th, he will not be under contract at Colorado State. So will Iowa move him to a paid position? Will he find a job elsewhere? It's interesting when you look at the language of that volunteer application, depth chart projections, uh, approaching game rosters, uh, opponent scouts. So those are all those are all job descriptions that would make us think that Iowa at least plans on him being there in the fall. But again, could that just be a situation where they're covering all bases, right? They're, they're just kind of in case they're able to keep them there through the fall. But again, that's the situation right now with John Budmeyer. Hopefully that clears up some confusion as to uh, his status and uh, his pay, where that's coming from, how he can continue to be a volunteer at Iowa. Because uh, for most people, you're not able to have a family and uh, be able to work for free. I don't care what profession you're in. That's usually, you're usually not able to do that. So Hopefully, John Budmeyer is helping Brian Ferentz and the staff out, and maybe Iowa will retain him. Maybe they'll figure out a way to, to start paying him and get him to uh, an actual assistant role. And if they're able to do that, I don't know that they have a spot for a John Budmeyer, but if they're going to start paying him as an analyst even, certainly he's still not going to be able to uh, help on the field and hands-on with the players um, according to the rules, but um, he would be getting paid and perhaps could provide some invaluable help to Brian Ferentz and this offense, which we all know desperately needs help.